There's release there, the exciting moment, lighting the rocket motor and headed to space. One small step for mankind, one giant leap for billionaire Richard Branson. Welcome to space, Unity 22. Branson's flight marked his company's fourth trip to the edge of space, but the first with a full crew and with him on board. All four passengers got a few minutes of weightlessness. This is something only a handful of humans have ever experienced. Then the craft made a smooth landing back on Earth. It took 17 years of work to get to this point, and there were hard times. Four people died in two separate accidents. There will be more test flights before the public can climb on board. But today was all about this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is Sir Richard Branson, astronaut. Or you could say space tourist. The mission statement that I wrote inside my spacesuit was to uh, turn the dream of space travel into a reality for uh, my grandchildren who, who are here, for your grandchildren. It's a major shift from historic space travel, from the earliest orbits and moon landings to the modern astronauts of the International Space Station. Hmm. Very good. Space flight in the past was about sort of militarization, the Cold War, and then science. Now space flight's becoming about experience and selling that experience. And liftoff. Those experiences cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, and some warn there's another price attached as well. These industries are largely unregulated. They are in a position to be contributing greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. And I think it's supremely ironic that, you know, wealthy people are shooting off into space in, in amongst this uh, when we've got heat waves and a pandemic and they're there to kind of prove their wealth influence and to create new business opportunities playing in the atmosphere. But after seeing the world in a whole new way, Branson himself says... We've got to all be doing everything we can to help this uh, incredible planet we live on. Um, I will devote the rest of my life doing that. All while potentially cashing in on a lucrative form of tourism that's truly out of this world. So Lauren, Richard Branson is not the only billionaire in this space race. What's next? Well, Jeff Bezos, Amazon founder, he's going to be taking a short space flight of his own very soon. It's actually quite similar what he and Branson are trying to do, marketing these short space flights for consumers. And Elon Musk of Tesla and SpaceX fame, he's actually trying to build longer space flights that people can purchase. So there's a lot coming in this space uh, in the months and years ahead. Uh, but for average Canadians like you and me, it could be a very long time, if ever, before we could afford these types of trips. Yeah, Asha? I hear about 200K, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Lauren.